the beginning of World Pride Month, and I want nothing to detract from the inspiring, this inspiring celebration. In both my personal and professional life, I do my best to act responsibly, fairly, and respectfully. Over the past number of years, the NYPD has been forging new relationships and repairing existing relationships. At times, there are obstacles that get in the way. Sometimes those obstacles are easy to overcome, and sometimes they're not. I think it would be irresponsible of me as we go through World Pride Month not to speak of the events at the Stonewall Inn in June of 1969. Well, I'm certainly not going to stand up here and pretend to be an expert on what happened at Stonewall. I do know what happened should not have happened. The actions taken by the NYPD were wrong, plain and simple. The actions and the laws were discriminatory and oppressive, and for that, I apologize. I vow to the LGBTQ community that this would never happen in NYPD 2019. We have and we do embrace all New Yorkers, and we are a department that is inclusive. We understand to move forward and to keep our great city safe, every culture and every community must be treated as equals and with respect. We are not perfect, but from what I see and what I know, the NYPD is made up of human beings that want nothing more to fight crime and to keep everyone safe. We at the NYPD are here to celebrate World Pride with you, and most importantly, keep everybody safe during this month-long celebration. And as everyone knows, talk is cheap, judge us by our actions. Today's gathering is a great example of how these relationships can grow to benefit our city. And I'm proud to welcome you here as we prepare for another safe and successful Pride Month. And we know that living in a free and safe community requires a daily commitment by both the police and people we serve. It's our job to protect you and we could best achieve that when we work together. Those of you here already understand that, but it's clear that we have much more work to do. The hate crime stats for the first months, five months of 2019 are troubling. We've seen spikes in hate crimes overall, which also include a slight increase in crimes motivated by sexual orientation. In just a few minutes, Deputy Inspector Mark Molinari, the commanding officer of the NYPD's Crime, crime Task Force, will get into some more details. The NYPD takes all reported incidents of bias extremely seriously because we will never tolerate hate in our city in any form. That's why our hate crime investigators work 24 hours a day with our precinct cops, our detective squads, our local businesses, and communities. We also have a dedicated liaison unit in my office, and Detective Carl Locke specifically is our LGBTQ liaison. Carl, you want to stand up and wave? I think everybody knows you. I should have recognized that you were standing up already. Sorry about that. <laughs> Detective Locke serves, at, serves as a direct connection between the NYPD and the LGBTQ community. He's available to answer your questions and address any of your concerns. And I encourage you to reach out and get to know him. He's a great resource, as well as our community affairs officers and our neighborhood coordination officers. In a, fa in a moment, our chief of counterterrorism is going to give you some details about a brand new initiative we're launching called the Lavender Alliance. It's an enhancement to our incredibly successful NYPD Shield Network, which is an information sharing partnership between the public and private sectors that has expanded around the world since its launch in 2014. Now with the Lavender Alliance, we're using our Shield Network to specifically address security concerns in our LGBTQ community. And we're working even harder to actively engage with every person our police department serves. Your participation in today's safety briefing is a large part of this. I want to thank you all again for being here, and thank you for everything you do to help make the safest large city in the United States even safer. Together, we'll continue to build and strengthen our partnerships with the LGBT community.